Hi, a movie to all seeing Kim. We back to the channel with another one. Happy to say week two supreme drop list. Has anyone received their week one? Has anyone received their week one? Because I thought I was sway. I thought I had all the answers. And I told you guys, oh, they don't hit you back in time. This is how to get them to cap, cap, cap. I hit them up. I'm like, yo, bro, it's been like three business days. I know it says three to five business days. I know it does. But my shit never takes five business days to ship. I'm like, nah, bro. That's how you know y'all selling too much units. All you telling me is that you're making too much of shit. You're making too many of a size large. You're making too many of a size medium. It's supposed to be limited quantity. Limited quantity quantity and limited quantity shouldn't take that long to ship out now should it because it's limited hit supreme up by like uh i ordered it friday no we ordered it. we ordered i actually ended up ordering a bit late i ordered friday at 12 o'clock because i wasn't feeling so good during the drop that whole thursday i was feeling crazy had a steaming headache so i ended up just taking an early nap at like right after work and shit so i didn't even get to go on i missed a young boy t i was in a meeting for like an hour and a half i literally went on like 10 minutes late to try to get young boy t shit was sold out it that added to the headache it just got me so furious because i just needed time i literally was looking on the site the whole time and then they asked me on a call at all times you know how life is for something that they needed me to pull that time happened to be with the nba young boy t drop so i did not hit the t that shit made my head hurt even more i just knocked out and then i ordered what i wanted for personal wear anyways the things that i ordered were not for flip so that's why i wasn't really in a rush and when i woke up most of the things that I wanted were still there. Not all of the things that I wanted were still there, but most of the things that I wanted were still there. We ordered a couple things week one. We still haven't done the unboxings. Why? Because we haven't got the item to unbox. We haven't got it. It told me uh, I ordered it Friday. I ended up hitting them up like the week after on Wednesday. Like, yo, just making sure y'all still remember about me. They hit me back like, yeah, sorry. We got so many orders that we're delayed on week one, but we'll ship your order by end of day today. That was Thursday. They never shipped it. They ended up shipping it Friday. Two days later, I got the alert. It should be getting here sometime this week. With that being said, as soon as it gets here, you know we're working on content. We're going to work on that unboxing. I'm super excited to see what we got, and I'm super excited to show you guys what we got. So if you're interested on that, I would suggest you subscribe now. Also, if you also if you just cool, also if you just a nice person, we're on the road to 10,000 subs. Sub up. But let's get to why we hit Fall Winter 23 Week 2 release. This Week 2 will drop on August 31st, 2023 at 11 a.m. Eastern. For those that live on the east side, but I'm from the west side don't oh, shorty shorty man shorty shorty get your get, get your hip-hop game up these dudes are just starting crazy we usually start with some accessories oh let's look at a supreme fan oh let's look at a supreme screwdriver no let's look at some supreme nike dunks And not just dunks, because they could just drop anything. They could have dropped some shit on the silhouette that I would have told you guys, why? Why did they do this trash? But I cannot say trash because they got it right. I'm not going to hold you. I like them. I like them a lot. Supreme Nike dunks low. I don't even want to say homie's name wrong, so let's let the AI do it. Ramo Z. Ramo Z. We got a Nike collab. I don't know if this is your first. Maybe you've done a lot. Five to the year. Five to the year. I would lie to you if I even tell you all the graphics I see. Like, all right, let's go through each panel. Yeah, I can't even, like, we're not even going to break this down. This guy did a sack. A doodle. But the shit is hard. We can see that white clay slash cream colorway with the different colors of graffiti pop popping out through the sneaker and on a white and, and on a black and white silhouette. Those colors show perfect and I love the gum bottoms. These are a beauty. And the front looks like it's suede. So the black on the front toe and going up the side of the tongue, that looks like it's suede. And then the white with the graffiti on it looks like it's like canvas. Yeah, these are hard. These are hard, 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 hard. The toe box in the front continues the graphics going through. I usually do this on all the Supreme Dunks, so you've probably seen it before. But on the front shoelace, you guys see that Supreme Gold Box logo. And once again, if you didn't hear me before, gum bottoms, fire. All black tongue, all black Nike SB call out on the tongue. These shits is hard. I need you. I want you. Red Supreme slip in soles. Oh, I need you. I want you. Let me know. This one you guys going for. We don't got to stay here too long. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you don't like them and you like this channel, hit them. I'll buy it off you for retail. I'll buy it off you for... Yo, but if I ever get anything off any of y'all for retail, I always keep it a thousand. I copped the P5 off my man for retail. Not even off my man. My man's hit the raffle and was like, yo, you want this shit? And this is when they were still selling. Remember, I got my shit in 21. This is when they were still selling. He was like, yo, if you're going to flip it, I'm going to just take it and I'm going to flip it. Because at that point, he was selling P5s. But if you're going to keep it and bring it to your channel and everything, I'll let you get it for retail. You could just put in your credit card information, your shipping address, and just have them ship it straight to you. I looked at that nigga like, nah, that's really my brother right there, bro. That's really because a lot of dudes won't do that. A lot of dudes be like, yo, just throw me a little 50 over the top or something. 
son. You know, this shit's going for thousands. A little 50 over the top. I ain't even say that. I told that nigga, yo, you want something? I'm gonna spark. Nah, bro, just stream. Go ahead. Do your thing, bro. I just want to see my nigga grind. Shit, I'm gonna bring a tear to my eye rethinking about it. Ray, I love you, bro. But nah, these shits is fire. These 216 people that didn't like him was tweaking. I gotta vote. I like him. I like him a lot. You guys going for them? Please. If you don't like them, Hit a size 10, 10 and a half, whichever you can purchase. And think about your guala. Supreme Nike Dunks High. Yo, I can't even remember his name. Ramel Z. Ramel Z. On this one, we actually see a little bit better. There's a portrait here. I probably should know who that is. I don't know who that is. It looks like a painter, maybe. Or maybe a New York homeless man. I am not sure who that is. But whoever that is, you got more motion than me, bro. You want a Supreme Nike collab, nigga. You got more motion than me. Fire. Fire. Shit look like Einstein and Santa Claus had sex and that came out. Fire. I don't mean a disrespect. I just mean fire. Whoever you are, fire. Fire. With the graffiti on this. And here we see the gray suede on the front with the gray suede on the tongue. We still got that gum bottom, and that's what I'm happy to see. Nah, these are hard, bro. You can't go wrong. I personally like Dunks high. A lot of people don't. They just like the lows. A lot of people, you know, just follow the hype because people didn't even like Dunks when I was in high school. Remember when I was rocking Dunks, niggas was like, what are those? <laughs> and now everybody want to get dunked on. We still see the Supreme Gold tag on the front of the shoelaces. The tongue here continues the gray going up, but the tongue SB Nike call out looks like it's like 3M material to me, or it might just be a light gray, but it does look 3M like it's reflecting from the image on these you could see the design a little bit better it just looks like graffiti on a new york train fire though i love them and i love the color layouts on them. the toe box hard still got that red supreme slip and so copying which either one i we copying which either one i can i need them i want them i need them i want them. i feel like more people is definitely gonna go for the lows because the lows are harder if i gotta put both going at each other the lows are way harder i ain't even gonna lie to you the lows are way harder but these are still hard these are super hard i might low-key go for these because i feel like a lot of dudes gonna go for the lows but if i could definitely pick one the lows are harder supreme champions embroidered football jersey this is releasing in four colors dark teal red gold Black. Poly eyelet mesh with embroidered patches pattern and tackle twill. I ain't gonna hold you. This shit is hard. Patches all over the place, low key. But I just like how the patches remind me of like different Super Bowl, per, uh, different Super Bowl patches, but just with a little supreme flip to them. This is hard. And it's and, and I ain't even gonna lie to you guys. Now living in the 305 and living down here, I low key, I low key, I low key wanted a little Tyreek Hill jersey or a Waddle. Now I technically could just grab the teal supreme, and this shit's harder. Ain't nobody gonna have this unless you cop this here. And hold on. And they got the Supreme S with the four stars, like the captain patch on the jersey. That's hard. That's hard. I wish there was a little bit less patches. I ain't even gonna hold you. Probably patches on both arms, or if they would have just done this on the back. Damn, they did it on the front and the back. Yeah, you see, I'm not the loudest of people when I dress. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not the loudest, but for some reason, I still like this shit. Usually, I would probably not like something like this with all these patches everywhere just randomly placed. It's football season. I like the teal. Definitely hard. If I was to go for one right now, I'm gonna go for the teal just to add some arsenal. All oh, that red and white is crazy. That red and white is fire, too. Yeah, this is a hit. This is a hit. I like this. Yo, I even like this one. I'm not gonna lie to you. The blue with the tan. There's just no team that resembles this. So, some of you guys might like that, that it doesn't look like a team's jersey. Or maybe like me, it's like, eh. I kind of like the flip on the NFL jerseys. Hey, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. Uh huh. You know what it is everything i do i do it big hey now nah, this is hard too you a steelers fan you gotta cop this one they ain't dropped the coach colorway but it's cool because i wanted this dolphins jersey but i've never bought another team's jersey in my life i usually buy other teams t-shirt jerseys if like you know i'm not you know i like the colorways or some sort i really might like a player or you on my fantasy team and you got me winning week after week you might get a jersey shirt copped from your from your team no cap but this right here this is fire and i'm gonna go to a couple dolphins games this year so there's some shit i'll definitely rock to the dolphins game this is hard. This is hard. I'm, I'm low key thinking this might be it. I'm low key thinking this is low key hard. I like this one. LA prime time. I just don't like how the patches are everywhere, but some of these patches are super crazy. Like, I wish that patch wasn't right there. I'm not saying I'm mad at the design of the patch. I think all the designs, other patches are designed amazingly. They look fire. It's just the placement. The placement could have been better. Or if they could have just done this going around the Supreme and the number or all randomly all in the back. And I think this would have looked better. Even if you would have added more patches to the back, it's cool. It's on my back. I'm not really worried about it. But something like that on my chest, I'm not the biggest fan. Supreme versus the away team all day. They beat them 29 to 0. 
you guys think about this their logo is the red and white hoodie you want to stick original to classic you can go with this one right here and this looks like this would actually be the supreme team's jersey like if you wanted to really play for the supreme team this is what i envision in my head this jersey right here comment down below i think this is a cop too i think this is a cop this really might be my cop for the week just because i'm so football crazy right now i don't know we're gonna see supreme zani glitter bowl what the hell is a glitter bowl a resin bowl with painted logo. I know nothing about a glitter bowl. $44. Is it just a bowl that has glitter? Oh, I think it's just a bowl that has glitter on it. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely what it is. Because I see glitter all outside. I'm like, what, you can make glitter in this shit? I don't know what this is used for. I eat. I don't prepare. I don't know what this is used for. Maybe that little stick that you go. This shit says made in Japan. Low key, that's fire too alone. Just to cop one just because low key is made in Japan. Or just to put as decoration right on like the top of your dining table somewhere in your kitchen somewhere in the i don't know if this is a man cave piece i feel like men run and bump into your table this shit falls now i gotta kill somebody you might have just released a genie in my room all right this is hard i like the red one od i like the red one a lot the silver one eh, is it's more classy i would say the silver is more classy but me personally if i was to ever cop a glitter bowl which i don't think you guys are gonna see me unbox this would be this red one here my favorite thing about it is that it's from japan this is a cop too though just not personally from me this might be the flyest accessory i've seen in a very long time i ain't even gonna hold you guys this shit's so fire that it kind of got me low-key thinking about going in depth like nah this is crazy bro you about to have me posted up in little havana nigga que cante mi gente I'm getting ready. This shit is hard, bro. This shit is hard. I was telling my pops I was about to be a bartender one of these weekends. Scratch that. I'm about to go to Little Havana, join a cumbia squad, and play the Congos. Like, this is crazy. This is fire. I like, I like what Drake likes. I don't know if Drake likes this, but I like this. This shit's hard. This shit's hard. I like this colorway more. I'm not sure if it's the same one just spun around. It might be the same drum, just in different circles. I'm not too sure. But yeah, I think that's just the front and the back. Because <laughs> you can see the black and the gold, black and the gold, the red and the white, red and the... I think it's the same thing, just flip. This one's hard, though. I really like this a lot. You guys let me know. What's the retail on this? Because I already know it's expensive. I can't lie to you, though. I think it's worth it. Now, do I know how much congas go for in the street? No, I don't. I don't purchase drums. But if I was going to, I would pay $8.98 for this. 30 inches. Siamo hey, conga yo. drum three ply shell with glitter finish and gold hardware 11.75 inches natural rawhide head and horn side plates with 5 slash 16 diameter tuning logs applied logo at side and head nah that shit is definitely hard bro you guys let me know what you think about this this shit is hard for sure cop cop you might have to break the piggy bank but cop this go anywhere in your crib living room man cave bedroom wherever you want I'll be there <laughs> I'm waking up my jaw to this in the morning. I would literally go on YouTube and study the drum squad that was playing for Celia Cruz. Azuka! That's what I'll be yelling every morning looking at that drum set. Old English. Not the biggest fan of Old English. And I'm not the biggest fan of this T. Old English SS top. I don't know. I told you guys I got bad luck. Whenever I see SS top, I never like the design. I never like the shirt. It literally never fails. I don't hate this one. It's just all right. Dark gray, black, red, and white. So we see the Supreme embroidered on the shirt. I low-key like the gray. Hold on. Let's get to the... Yeah, yeah. This one's hard. All right. All right. I do. I take that back. I do like this one. I do like this one. This one's hard. I like this one. I feel like you could definitely drip this. This looks nice. I like this one. I like this one. Enough for me to purchase. Not really, but I do like it. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's probably my favorite old English I've ever seen in my life. For some reason, the color with that purple pops up perfect with the white highlights on it. It looks like it has the light, either light purple or like a white highlight on that dark gray t-shirt. It looks fire. I don't like the red. I like all of them but the red. The black's tough. The red I don't like at all. I don't even like the color red of the t-shirt. You get me? I don't like it. The white one's hard too. It's not a cop for me. It's a skin. Skip, but I'm not mad at it. And if I was to cop one, this is the only one I would cop right here. This is something that if for sure it don't sell out and it makes it to the, the sale at the end of the season, you're going to see me unboxing this channel. This one I'll definitely cop. If it was like 50, I would have copped. I'm just not trying to pay 77 for this. Plus shipping because it's not over the threshold. Wax cotton camp cap coming out in four colors. Purple, olive green, teal, Tiffany blue, and black. Again, it's hard for me to say anything about these. They all look the same. They're just different materials. They always got different little S to them. You know, I have a whole bunch of these different hats. I have wool, I have linen, I have regular. I got a lot of leather straps in the back to the point that I just stopped copping them because I feel like I just kept getting the same hat in mad different colors. This shit comes with like a nipple piercing in the back of your dome cap. If that's something you're into, then yeah, just cop this one. You can hang this shit from your, you can hang this from your keychain. Yo, that's one of the most ugliest shit, bro. If you a dude out there and you watching this and you trying to bag drones in the club, 
club. Stop walking around like a janitor, for real. That shit irritate my soul. Like, it really get me in a bad mood. It shouldn't even get me mad of what you doing with your drip. Drip. I feel bad saying right that right now. But this shit, that's one of the trends that do irritate me. When I see the niggas with the fucking keys hanging off their belt, like where the belt strap go, and they got a whole janitor key set just hanging, swinging and shit. Like, nah, bro, you must be stopped. You must be stopped. But you think you pulling holes with that? You must be stopped. Hard. Whoa. Poles. But hoodie season's coming. Fire. Sleeve art hooded. Supreme sleeve art hooded sweatshirt. Coming out in handful of colors. Dark khaki. Pale blue. Red. Black. Heather gray. Wash navy. Retail for it. The same as all the other hoodies. 158 If you don't own, I suggest you do. This shit is hard. I like this one a lot. That black one is super fire. And it remind me of the coach. I told you guys, I'm fully, I'm fully footballed out right now. If I was in high school, I would have copped this red one right here and wore it with the air bacon mustards. You can't go wrong. I think these are all tough. I'm not even gonna hold you. These are all tough. These are all tough. I don't own the Heather Gray hoodie. I don't know what my beef is with Heather Gray. So I right. might have to cop something Heather Gray just so y'all can know I got no beef with the color. But other than the Heather Gray, I think these are all crazy. If I was to personally cop, I just like that blue with the white and the black. Kind of remind me like an alternative culture jersey. Nah, this shit is hard. This shit is hard. You see, this is how I be dressing, bro. Low key. Like, I don't like all that graphics. Look at this big ass graphic on my chest. This is a pajama tee, though. This is what I wear in my house is pajamas. Smokey the bed. Stop smoking weed in the forest. Like, little graphic. This shit is blank on the back. Ain't nothing in the back. Like, there's no way, bro. I hate tees that got a loud ass print like this in the front. Loud ass print in the back. It's the reason I'm still been on the fence. Like, I want to get one of them Hellstar t shirts, but I'm like, damn, these shit's crazy, bro. I feel like I'm walking around like a billboard, like a New York wall, a wall in Winwood. Like, damn, hold up, hold up, hold up. Up. That shit is loud. They tough. Don't get me wrong. They tough. Gotta find the right one. Fuck, like I gotta find the right one. This right here is my swap. This is hard right here. Throw something on. Nice, nice with this. This is, this is hard. This is hard. Also, this is the one that said Wash Navy. Yeah, if you guys want to go back to my old videos, we unboxed a Wash Navy and we did a poll on the channel if it looked purple or if it looked navy. And even me and everybody else that looked at this damn hoodie and when I wear it, it looks purple. Everyone thinks it's a purple hoodie. You let me know, though. That Wash Navy, what it is, is whatever they named it. They named it Wash Navy, it's Wash Navy. But I'm saying just know when you cop, it's not going to come looking navy. That shit look purple. It look, it don't look Barney Neon Cameron purple, but it looks Wash purple. I feel like that would've been a more appropriate name, Wash purple. Definitely a cop. This shit is a cop. I'm thinking about even copping myself, bro, and it's 92 degrees today, but that's definitely a cop. Supreme woven leather varsity jacket. Woven lambskin leather with fill and satin lining. Full zip closure with weld hand pockets at lower front and interior chest pocket. Elasticized leather cuffs and hem. Leather logo applique at back. I'm not gonna lie to you. For me, it's a skip. I don't like it coming out in black and yellow. What was retail? $7.98. I don't like it even more now. Uh, I'm just not a fan. It reminds me of like a leather 90s picnic basket like uh, it reminds me of like if dapper dan didn't pick up gucci and he picked up supreme back in the day and made like knockoff supreme i'm not mad i love dapper dan i love what he did for our drug dealers back in new york back in the day had them dripping to death with stuff that they couldn't get actually in louis and gucci i'm not mad at that what i'm saying though is no it's just too retro for me i don't like it it's like some shit that a father would be holding in your childhood picture like when you're like oh daddy you knew about supreme that's fire me i'm gonna sit out no overprint knockout ss top coming out in dark teal black bright red and slate $88 all cotton jersey with knockout printed logo on it I don't like it kind of hard to see I can kind of see it now that I look more into it so S right there for supreme the U the P the R the E the M the E I see it now if you're someone that doesn't like something too loud even though yes this does look super loud but I feel like if you don't know supreme and you don't know you're looking at supreme it just looks like a whole bunch of shapes on your chest oh, it could be a good thing it could be a bad thing me personally I'm gonna skip I don't hate it I do like how they did the two different colors I'm not sure if they'll even see that because I'll be under you. But it looks like they pulled this t-shirt out of a comic book. Like, this shit looks like it's literally a real-life comic book t-shirt. Retail 88, not sure if we went over that, but I'm gonna sit out. Supreme logo piping hooded track jacket. Water-resistant nylon ripstop with mesh lining and taffeta sleeve lining. Full zip closure with on-seam zip hand pockets at lower front. Interior elastic shockered at packable hood and hem. Jack Ward logo piping throughout and embroidered logo at back neck. So packable hooded, packable hood at him. That sounds fire, okay, because at least you get two drips. The raining day, it's kind of breezy, you want to throw on your hood. Cause spring comes around, you want to wear this again, but you don't want a hood on you. You could tuck it away. There's some fits that you just don't want a hood. There's some fits you do need it. I can see it now coming out, coming out the side. So I'm assuming you just roll it up, tuck it in there, and zip it closed. I think all three of these are hard. All three colors are fire. I like them all. It gives me a retro vibe once again. I see week two went for a lot of retro. But it gives me a retro vibe again, but I don't hate it. I like it. I like the little small Supreme going around it in the pipe. I see what they did here. I like it. I like all three colors. Even this light pink purple with the white is tough. I like how they're 
all look pastel like it's not a loud ass pink or purple whatever exactly that color is i like it it's tough the black is hard too 178 retail i'm not gonna lie to you the only reason i won't cop it is because i feel like 178 is a bit high for this item and i've seen a lot of items i've seen a lot of windbreakers come out from 130 to like 160 that are way harder than this windbreaker but if you love it i don't feel like 178 is i'm not paying it i just don't like it that much to drop 178 on it but let me know is this something that you're gonna cop i'm personally gonna skip but you guys let me know what you think no skip 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 chest stripes sweater 148 black pink navy and white i think you guys know i'm just personally biased against these knitted type of sweaters i'm not a personal fan of them i feel like if i lived in i feel like if i still worked in an office corporate i would cop because there's something that you can rock you know on like dress down fridays wear a little button up in the bottom you're dripping there's some shit that i would cop if i'm still in the office me personally my lifestyle today no i'm good i'm gonna sit out I'm not mad at it i'm not even gonna lie to you i got something that looks just like this but tommy hilfiger and it got the small flag right here instead of supreme going across the chest i'm not mad at it Do I I want it no but i'm not mad at it you guys let me know though what do you think about this you're a fan you're not a fan i'm personally gonna skip you guys let me know what you think though again i feel like this also depends where you live you live somewhere that's gonna be start it's already about to be september in like a couple days probably three days so i feel like if you're in somewhere that about the end of september february about the end of september early october you're already wearing fall jackets and already wearing hoodies then we could look into something like this bro it was 93 today like 92 i'm personally gonna sit out radial embroidered denim trucker jacket all cotton 13 ounces denim with embroidered Embroidered graphic button front closure with weld hand pockets at lower front and button flat patch pockets at chest tab adjusters at cuffs and back hem with leather logo patch embroidered logo at back shoulders and sleeves 228 is retail all right hit me out but i just feel like i could see like a hood little like eight year old wearing this fit right here tim's beef and broccolis with this top on right here and they got the drake part on like a low caesar skin fade they got the little drake part right there i could see the child wearing this i could see a child wearing this damn you're gonna put that sunrise in the back and the front uh, with that loud uh, uh, it's not personally my swag i'm not mad at it i feel like if you got some beef and broccolis on you're gonna be killing the streets i feel like there's dudes out there that gonna kill this fit just me personally i'm not one of them i'm gonna sit out and i don't like the black because the black reminds me of like true religion and i didn't wear true religion when it was hot damn sure ain't gonna start now supreme ss leather work shirt coming out in khaki black and teal again I'm not personally, I, again, I personally don't dress like this. I'm not mad at the at the piece though. This is lambskin. It's coming out in a handful of colors. I feel like if you're going to a VIP or an event where you're a celebrity performing, I can see you wearing this. You just can't wear this on your everyday shit. Like you're not going to the finger licking with your girl wearing some shit like this. Like you're gonna look crazy. You don't like you just came back from a play. Like now nah, this nigga just came back from selling a brick. He might've just sold a brick. You're gonna be dripping in the club for sure. One's gonna be sweat. This is the shit that niggas be wearing with a one little chain, no shirt in the bottom. You gotta have some abs. They should have put that shit in parentheses to buy this. Item, you need some apps because you're gonna be way too hot to wear a shirt under this or button it. the teal on the black smooth the khaki you look like a reformed gangster like nah the khaki's a little crazy to me because i'm just thinking about california gangster right now when i see this and you like an og like a father that once used to be in the gang but you changed your life but you still can't leave your gang banging ways behind you boom right here how much this cost oh lord 268 i'm not too shocked though because it is lambskin leather once again and the thing about lambskin leather we might not like the piece but the material is going to be super soft and real rich leather but if you do like it you're not mad at paying that 268 28 for a leather button up shirt just know the materials you're getting is gonna be good me personally hail to the no to the no 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 i said hail to the no but we left this design in week one supreme crackle zip up hooded sweatshirt brush black brush back fleece with hand applied crackle treatment and embroidered logo natural yellow and red 228 is the retail new no! new no! i thought we left this in week one in that nasty jacket this shit like you gotta get slapped with an open handful of jerkins bow cocoa butter bow avino bow you gotta get jumped by every single brand bro you know what we're gonna do it that way you gotta get jumped by every single brand this is crazy i'm gonna have to sit out and the hand applied gets me nervous like imagine you wear this lime green one right you go to a girl's crib that got some suede couch you sit on there you rocking back you leaning back on her shit you happen to get up are you leaving dead skin on her couch like that shit is hand applied how about if i wash it and my shit get a little bit weak now and then i go to a shorty's house and now i leave crackled dead skin all over her all over her couch shorty gonna think you reptilian you really not getting ass now you just ruined some couches brother you just ruined some couches i'm gonna I'm gonna sit out. I'm gonna sit out. I'm getting anxiety now. Just about leaving dead skin and I don't even own this shit. You're gonna be walking around like a reptilian, a lizard. No, no. Hell to the no, to the no, no, no. I'm gonna sit out. I'm sitting out. 
and any other piece that comes out with this design, I'll let you know ahead of time. I'm sitting out. Supreme Dragon Beanie! Black, blue, green, yellow. You guys might think, oh, he hates it. I don't hate it. I don't like it. You guys know my rule. Once again, I got a lot of weird rules with me personally buying it. Again, if it's for flip, then there's no rules. If it's gonna sell, it's gonna sell. This item right here is not sell. So this item right here, if I was to cop, it's gonna have to be for wear. And I'm not wearing a beanie without a cuff. I personally don't like beanies without a cuff. Am I saying that every beanie in the world without a cuff is not fly? That's not what I'm saying. What I've came across, I don't like. I've seen people like Travis and other people pull off beanies without cuffs. They look fly. And me, I just can't see me in it. I just don't want it. And I haven't bought a beanie since we got done dirty by Supreme like two years ago, bro. I have yet to ever buy a Supreme any beanie supreme lids nothing i haven't bought a beanie yet my head's been cold ever since i promise you i'm still having ptsd from that little ass supreme cap they sent no and i'm gonna skip on this one as well 40 dollars though if you cop it fly for you me no and this shit ain't selling so now i ain't wearing it. i told you i knew they had to bring the bottoms to the tops and the tops without the bottoms now leather double knee painted pants teal black khaki no i know i feel like this goes with the same fit of the dude wearing the top i usually always tell you guys never wear top and bottom some shit like this i can see you wearing top and bottom together you're gonna really be dripping like i told you earlier you just better hope you're not in the south because you're gonna be dripping a sweat bro you literally gonna be dripping a sweat the painted pants is hard it's just not personally my style i'm gonna personally sit out of these the khakis don't even i, don't, I like i guess more the pants in the top but i'm still personally gonna sit out how much is it 428 lamb skin leather i'm trying to tell you that quality is good as hell but it's not good enough for me to cop no skip all right so yeah i just wanted to end this in a rude pattern all right, so y'all just want me to talk my shit. Radial embroidered loose fit jean. I also think that this is a little pattern when I see these little like sneak peeks. I put all the trash to the bottom, I bet. All the trash go to the bottom of the site so you can at least end me. Leave my mind thinking of this bull. I don't like it, I don't like it. This is one rare thing where I like the top more than the bottom. Sometimes when I don't like the top, I like the bottom. This one, I don't like neither. I don't like neither. And if I was to cop one, I definitely like the top more than the bottom on these. Skip, 178, oh my God, I can't skip hard or fast enough. No, Ralph. Give it a chance. Stop doing it. Supreme hand style six panel. No. Gray, yellow, white, blue, black. This shit looks fake. Like this don't even look like it's really supreme. They like some shit you'll see at your bodega. You know when they got hats hanging in the back of the thing next to the phone numbers, next to the rhino pills and gold pills. These hats look like they should be right in there. No. $48. Not even if it was 50% off and it was $24. No. $19.99. No. $11.50 with a Happy Meal. No. Logo piping track pants. See, the pants is heavy hitters. I like the pants. The pants is hard. Once again, I like all three colors. You can't go wrong with none of them. I like all of the color options here. The black, I personally need because I feel like I told you guys so much. Stay away from black. The last three years, the last four years of us going heavy and buying so much on this channel, I feel like the black stuff that I always cop sells the best, so I always flip it. And I personally, when it's just stuff that I know is going to be a brick is not going to sell and I buy for my personal wardrobe. I always tell you guys I try to collect mad different colors. Now what I be needing, I don't got no black, I don't got no black swishy pants at all. I don't got no black swishy. Oh, I got one black swishy short that I just caught because I had no black ones. Side bags, I got no black small one. Like, bro, you see you teed. You kind of took your rule a little bit too far. These right here, I feel like I need in the wardrobe. These right here, I think I need in the wardrobe. The two pieces that stood out to me other than the dunks that I want to go to, that I want to go for this week so far have been these pants and that football jersey. And I like these pants even more than I like the football jersey. I lie to you now. These pants is hard. I like the black ones because I personally need that color, but even the Michigan colorway just gives me a retro vibe, the Michigan colorway for some reason. I'm always saying about the Fab Five, maybe. These are hard right here, too. I ain't even gonna lie to you, but I need the black ones part of the wardrobe. Are they gonna be the ones I pull the trigger on? We'll see. I'm gonna say cop for these. I'm gonna say cop for these. And last but not least, crackle sweatshorts. You know they gotta give you the bottom when they give you the top. Pause, pause. I keep saying that little catchphrase, and my second time saying it, I felt like I wanted to roast the speaker till I realized the speaker was me. Like, yo, stop talking about tops and bottoms so much, my nigga. We are talking about clothes. I wanna make sure y'all know what we speaking about. We are speaking about the top of an outfit and the bottom of an outfit. I wanna make sure y'all don't think I'm on some freaky deaky shit. Like, we are talking about the top of a fit, the bottom of the fit. Just usually when they give you some weird outlandish top, they usually they give you the bottom. These are back to them hand applied crackle treatment. I'm telling you, you're gonna leave dead skin on the shorty's couch. No, reptilian. No, these shits is definitely a skip for me. I don't like them. I don't like them. The Supreme call out in the back pocket. I don't even like that. I don't like none of it. Who the hell wants, who wants shorts made out of elephant ass? Like, I'm good. See, elephant print on the Jordan 3s, I feel like it was done tastefully. I don't want elephant print shorts though. Like, I don't want the whole shorts. Nah, and it's 3D material. You got puff print ash. You got puff print crackle skin. Like, nah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nah, you're gonna sit on somebody's couch after washing these too many times and you're gonna let you gonna leave dead skin behind they're gonna call you and be like i don't ever wear them shits again to my crib i swear to god i swear to god skip 188 i wish i can skip again item for the week i'm going for both dunks we know that low dunks are gonna sell more than the high dunks 
I want both though. I want both. I think they're still both gonna sell. I want both, but we know for sure those lows are gonna sell higher. They're gonna sell better than the highs. Not including the dunk. Probably all want the dunks. If you guys are Supreme fans and you're here or you're just a fan of reselling or whatever brings you to this video, I'm sure you're not mad at these dunks. And even if you don't like them, you'll still cop to sell. Even if you're like, yo, these are ugly, I'll never wear them, but you would sell them. Now, just talking about regular Supreme pieces for the week. Maybe this hoodie you can make a little something on it. I'm not really too sure. Do I really look at their jersey sales? I don't. I will lie to you. I don't even own a Supreme jersey. I don't really know so much about the Supreme jersey category on how well they sell around this season. But I feel like if you're going to sell this shit, right now wouldn't be the bad time. It's football season. I want to get anything football related. That jersey's tough. I like the teal one. I like the white one. I, I like the I like the teal and the red the most. If I was the cop, that shit's either getting copped in the teal or the red. And then those piping pants. That was the other piece that I did like in the black. I want the black piping pants. Can't be mad at none of the three color options you might select. But me personally, for my wardrobe, I would need that black. I don't have no black long swishy. What do you guys think in the copping? Aside from the dunks, we all know we all want the dunks. Aside from the dunks, what do you guys want? That sleep art hooded sweatshirt was also really tough. That was really tough as well. There was some gems this week. Not, not many. I'm not even gonna lie to you. The dunks, the football jersey, the hooded sweatshirt with the art supreme going on the arm, the piping pants, the top and the bottom is cool. Me personally, I wouldn't pay 178 for that top though. I would definitely pay that 138 for the bottom though. And that's kind of the only piece that I did. Like everything else is a dub ski. I was excluding that conga because I keep thinking about. The but for me to pay $900 to smack it probably for like three weeks and then just let that shit collect dust in the corner of my apartment, I'm probably gonna have to skip. And I, I feel like that shit gonna sell super quick. That's one item that will sell well, I believe. So I believe the resale on that item will do well. Maybe, maybe not, but I post up a little Havana. If it don't sell, I slap the shit out them drums. You let me know though, what are you going for this week? If you need any size recommendations or anything, always feel free to hit me up. We're on the road to 10,000 subs, so if you guys could do me one favor, please subscribe to this channel, like the video, and comment down below what you liked or what you're thinking about getting. And like I love to say, until the next.